that the Prophet وسلم, was sent to make tazkiyah, to cleanse us. The way of Rasulullah وسلم, is to educate the ummah, to cleanse them of the diseases that he would see in the ummah. And no doubt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him to teach us Al-Kitab, the Qur'an. But with it, Al-Hikmah, Al-Sunnah. The Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, was sent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a part of the Wahi. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن كَانُوا مِن قَبْلُ And before that, لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ and before that, you were in a clear, evident misguidance. Okay? Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us many things. I'm not going to go deep into the tafsir of the ayah, but some things that are related to the dars. First, for us to understand that in the life of the Prophet sallallahu in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu there is a guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to cleanse us. So when you sit for the durus of the seerah, don't sit for entertainment. Don't sit to look for faults. Don't sit to find clips so you can make yourself famous. No, sit to cleanse yourself. Second, to understand that this sunnah, as we study from the ahadith of sahiha is a part of wahi. This is a part of the divine revelation and this is a part of what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was supposed to teach us. The kitab and the hikmah and the sunnah. Not just the kitab. And what is most important to the dars tonight is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after that. That verily before that you were in a clear evident misguidance. And that's why we're studying the time before the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa When you don't know the darkness, how would you appreciate the light? 